When problems come up on your network, like frequent and unpredictable connectivity disruptions, intermittent device disconnections, or rapid changes in link status between up and down on a port, you may be experiencing link flapping on your switch. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to troubleshoot link flapping when it's related to some physical interference. Next. Link flapping occurs when a physical interface on the switch continually goes up and down three or more times a second for a duration of at least 10 seconds. The common cause is usually related to a bad, unsupported, or non-standard cable or small form factor pluggable, SFP, or related to other link synchronization issues. The cause for link flapping can be intermittent or permanent. To get started, log into the web user interface of your switch. Under the advanced mode, navigate to status and statistics. Then click on diagnostics and select copper test if the link flapping issue is on an ethernet RJ45 port. Here, you can select the interface that is link flapping. For this example, I'll select GE1 and run the copper test by clicking on the blue button at the top of the screen. A warning will appear that the port will shut down for a short time during the testing period. Click OK to proceed. As you can see, the port is OK and the syslog notifications for the port are showing up and down. If the link flapping interface is connected through an SFP, then go to the optical module status in the menu. Here, check the values for the power being received and transmitted to see if there's a loss of signal on the SFP. Since link flapping can be caused by some link synchronization issues, there are some settings that can be applied in order to prevent it. The first step is to make sure that all switches are upgraded to the latest firmware version. If that doesn't fix the issue, you can disable some protocols on the switch. To do this, navigate to administration select Discovery Bonjour and disable this feature. After that, go to Port Management, click on Green Ethernet and choose Properties. Here, disable the Energy Efficient Ethernet, Triple E, settings. It's important to remember that when enabling or disabling this feature globally, the port will go up and down for a few seconds. Next, you can disable the Link Layer Discovery Protocol LLDP by going to Administration and then Discovery LLDP. Choose Properties and uncheck the Enable checkbox for the LLDP status. The Link Flap Prevention Mechanism is configured in Port Settings under Port Management. Link Flap Prevention is enabled by default. Under the Error Recovery Settings menu, you can check to see if Link Flap Prevention is enabled so that the port can automatically go up after it has been shut down by the link flap prevention mechanism. The automatic recovery interval indicates the time in seconds after which the port will automatically go up. There you go. Now you have some troubleshooting tools for link flap prevention on a CBS switch. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.